Today is Saturday, 28 to Jerome 5. Now the lady discovered a bubble on this uh, top of the right ear and uh, asked me what it was. It was a small hematoma, or a hematoma, and the cause was due to scratching by the dog. Now this dog has a lot of ear hairs inside the ear canal. Uh, many snouses Many snouses have these hairy ears and so there's no ventilation and uh, water gets trapped inside so the dog scratches his ears and uh, the blood vessel ruptures in between inside the ear so there's a swelling so in this case the swelling is very small and the treatment is still the same sedate, anesthetic then uh, excise to drain the ear, ear uh, clot, blood clot, and then uh, three or four stitches in this case, compared to the other dog, which is the crossbreed, which is quite big. And uh, the, the prevention of oral hematoma in dogs is to, to check the ears every week uh, for snouses to plug the ear hairs and to check the clean the ears every week. In, in most cases, owners don't do it. So in snouses, there, there is a chance of getting oral hematoma. And also check for ticks. Sometimes ticks in big dogs. As in the other case, the crossbreed had ticks. So when the dog scratches the ear, it ruptures the ear from, with his paws, with his uh, back leg. And then he ruptures the ears, ear blood vessels. So you get oral hematoma due to scratching continuously. This dog has been done, so it will go home and the owner will have to take care of it for 14 days and stitch removal in three weeks.